Uh, Blue Bloods fans know him as Aaron Regan's ex, Jack Boyle, but Peter Herman's main gig now is bona fide hits. The romantic comedy Younger is heading into its seventh season, making it TV Land's longest running original scripted series. I got to speak with them about the show's success. Now, the show centers around a 40 year old divorced mom who pretends to be a millennial to get a job. How do you think that scenario, scenario resonates with people? Uh, boy, oh boy. I think that um, it, uh, it, it, it certainly resonates because I think that uh, everybody wants everyone else to be younger than they are. <laughs> uh, and I think that it is, we, we, live, we live in a culture uh, that, that simply, and especially, we live in a culture that, that runs on, the fuel is um, youth, it is youth and beauty. Uh, and, uh, and I think that, um, and, 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 uh, sometimes that's an okay fuel to run on and other times that, that can cause some problems, especially the, the, you know, uh, and I, and I think that, um, you know, you have, uh, uh, you have this person who, uh, not, not because she thinks that, um, uh, she, not because of any uh, uh, let's say problematic reason, but simply because she really, she really needs this job. Yeah. has to lie, um, and uh, and 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 off the show uh, goes from there. You start as a reoccurring character in the first season, and in the second season, get a bump to yeah. uh, a, a regular star on the show. What's that like as an actor? Is that considered a promotion? I mean, that's got to feel good for you, knowing that your character has resonated with both fans and and other folks on the show to get you to a to a, a main character on the show, right? Oh, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. And, uh, and you know, I, I, you always protect yourself as an actor. Uh, it's nice to do one episode. It's nice when they say, you know, they'd like you to do a few more. Uh, and then it's, it, it, it is, it is uh, you know, you throw yourself a ticker tape parade when they say <laughs> they, they want to make you uh, regular on the cast, uh, regular in the cast and a regular on the show. And especially uh, in, uh, to be a regular in, in, a, in a cast that you like so much. Yeah. And we all really like each other. So it's just a really good group of people. And I mean, folks have seen you all over the place because your, your credits uh, run just the gamut of different uh, material. And Darren Starr is behind shows like 90210 and Melrose Place. And you've worked with him a handful of uh, uh, different shows you've been on. What's, what's, like, what's it been like working with him in so many different TV shows? You know, I think that he has this, this uncanny ability to somehow put his finger on the pulse of mm -hmm. things. You know, with 90210, with Melrose Place, with certainly with, with, with Sex and the City. Um, and he, and it, it's interesting because he is, he is at heart a writer. He's at heart uh, a, an artist who comes up with ideas and then uh, executes them and amazingly you know he is he's not just had a string of hits it's not like he goes from hits from hit to hit to hit there are plenty of things that he's tried that just hasn't that just haven't worked mm -hmm. um and it's uh that makes him that makes him you know human like you and me and if you're thinking hey i know that guy from somewhere else he's also been on law and order svu where he met his wife of 15 years. And he's had an almost nine-year run as the face of the Persil Pro Clean detergent commercials. So good for him.